you are paying good tax dollars for a system that doesn't work. Dramatic video shows a man trying to save his neighbor's life. New at 6, how he called 911 for help and nobody answered. Good evening, I'm Brennan McLaughlin. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. First tonight, we've told you about problems involving Pasco County's 911 system before. Well, now, a Newport Ritchie man says it could have cost a woman her life. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler is live with this exclusive story. Eric? Hey, Wendy, Pasco County consolidated its 911 call center about 16 months ago, and while they say they answer 99% of calls within 10 seconds, the delay that we just found out about, the latest delay, has some residents frustrated and frightened. When you're depending on a system to save somebody's life, this should never have happened. Jonathan Raskin is still livid about his attempt to call Pasco 911 yesterday when a neighbor needed help. I already ran out the door when I saw her pulling up, and I knew there was a problem. She said, Jonathan, she was hysterical. My sister is not breathing. She's blue and cold. Raskin dragged the woman out of the rain to his front porch, and he and the sister tried to revive her. When that didn't work, he called 911. He says he waited through 12 long rings, but there was no answer. I was beside myself, but I, I had to put that aside to save her life, and which we did. The woman's father, who wasn't home, did get through, and emergency crews quickly arrived. But then a dispatcher called Raskin's phone back. I just had a hangout from this number. Do you have an emergency? Yeah, let me ask you, let me ask you a real simple question. Why is it that I, I called in 12 rings, nobody answered the phone, I have a person that's half dead here on the floor. Sir, it's very busy. We're getting... Very busy? Sir. Is that what you're going to tell somebody who died? Sir. Pasco County's 911 system has been under fire in recent years with similar incidents of delayed responses or unanswered calls. We asked the county to look into what happened yesterday. They say fire rescue was already on the way and got there within minutes. They also say during the 15 minutes around Raskin's call, the communication center got more than 40 other calls from various emergencies. Officials say they are constantly evaluating staffing levels to reduce further delays. But Raskin says he doesn't have much confidence in the system after his call for help went unanswered. When you think of 911, you think immediate response, like it's supposed to be. Yeah, and the family of the woman involved in this case did not want to be identified, but we are told that she is still in the hospital and is going to be okay. Meanwhile, the call center has been in the process of looking for a new director. Live in Newport Ritchie, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.